And then she was like, If you kill the gun demon, I'll grant you any wish. Wait, even set. I don't have too many body parts left to sell, man. I already gave away my kidney, my right eye, my pinky toe, and my left nut. I don't even know how they safely removed the last one. I need some motion, bro. I tried to create generational wealth betting on Josh Allen in week one, but that fucker turned the ball over four times and lost me my money. But on the bright side, hunting devils is the easiest way to make some cash. Excellent work taking down the tomato, Denji. This will surely pay you over $400,000. All right! Ah, it's so fast. <laughs> That's not after including general tax, interest rate, debt payment, finder's fee, management costs, browser subscription, shipping and handling. 70000 I, I need to pay the water bill with this, but I still have debts, man. Fuck! Well, Pochita, we've only got 1,800 yen for the rest of the month. Which means we're having ice soup and a slice of bread tonight. Arf! Uh, sir, can you remind me why we're employing him again? Well, his father accumulated a lot of debt, and after he died, it went straight to Denji. And while most hunters don't want to fool with the devils, Denji here is a bitch, so he generally does what we tell him. Really? What are you doing? Well, relax, relax, relax. I'm just testing something. Yo! Do you want to do something strange for a piece of change? Yeah! Well then swallow this cigarette. <laughs> you really are a fucking loser! <laughs> Yo, how is this man living, dog? You mean to tell me he's chilling in this tool shed and his water bill is 70,000 yen? How? What is the reason? I don't even see a sink or a bath! And even if there was one, what is he doing that makes his water bill 70,000 yen? Anyway, this is Denji, and simply put it, he's broke as fuck. Like, I mean broke. So broke to the point that he is splitting a slice of bread for dinner, and he's tripping because he has no woman on his line, which is understandable, but like, look how he's living, man. Like, why is he, why is you worried about that right now? Anyway, his dad hold the shit out of him because he racked up mad debt, right? And then offed himself. And then this old guy was like, you know, niggas die every day, B. You be alright. You tough, right? I want my 700,000 by tomorrow or else I'm packing you up. Mind you, Dingy was like seven at the time. But nah, that old man drove all the way into that field just to say that. It's no roads or nothing. You know he don't play about his coins. But anyway, he ran into this dog chainsaw and they became best buds. So he started slaying demons. Oh wait, nah, wrong anime. Anyway, while he's dreaming about playing the upcoming Spider-Man 2 with the girl, somebody knocks on his door and was like, hey. We got something for you, bro. Come on. Yo, Unc, what's the word? Like, where are the demons at? I'm trying to get to this money, man. Denji, my boy. You've been a loyal servant for years. Doing what I say, whenever I say it. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. But the thing about that is, that makes you a bitch. And I hate bitch-ass niggas. <laughs> oh! So apparently the old man struck a deal with the demon, and the demon was trying to kill him because he slaughtered so many other demons, but nah, he's the main character, right? He's gonna get this shit out the mu- Damn, they stuffed cuz in the dumpster, that's tough. But the dog put him back together, and then he turned into Stan from Dog with the blog and was like, Live, Denji. You can do this. Accomplish your dreams. Then that boy had his little monologue, and he was like, If you're gonna get in my way, then you can all die! Oh shit, what the hell? That boy popped out ready for war. He went straight for the demon and stabbed his ass in the eye. Had him sounding like Mario when he falls off the platform. Then the zombie tried to smack him in the head, but he ate that shit and started running through folks like prom Adrian Peterson. Sliced the demon in two. Then that boy started stab padding. Look at this violence, man. We're, we're here for this. It's 12 episodes of this. Let's fucking go. Someone cooked here. That one, on the right. He's still alive. Uh, you uh, smell interesting. Like, it's not bad or good, it's just is, you know? So then, 
Who did all this? Did you do it? Where's my hug at? I work for the government. Either I kill you right here, right now, or you help me out, and you can be my pet. Girl, yes. So now they're in the car, and she's basically giving him the terms and conditions of being her sugar baby, one of which includes being a pet and saying woof to her, but there's no way he's gonna do that shit. He has morals, right? <laughs> Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all, he ain't do it yet. But, she did give him her jacket and he fell in love with her instantly. He was already thinking about putting a ring on it. But hold on, it gets worse. So they get to this little food shop here, right? And after he pulls this bullshit right here, she starts explaining his condition and, and his horny ass is looking at ass. Look at this expression, man. I know a nasty nigga when I see one. And she was like, Well, do you like it? What? Oh, nah, bro. And he did all of that, right? before even knowing her name. We've never seen down bad levels like this. And so he's going for the home run right here, right? He asked her what's her type, and she already knew what Tama was. This is the same thing those models be doing when they say they want gamers who don't leave the house. She's grifting for profit. My boy was speechless. He was in his head celebrating like Pat Bev after they won the playing game. Anyway, she's explaining the rules of his job, and he's thinking about getting on that shit. But anyway, she gave him his kit, and introduced him to Megami Fushigu a Aki, Aki, and he was pretty much like, "All right, Wait, let's no, go. Stop no, being I was horny. trying to work with Makima. No! Uh, bro, hey, bro. So, what's the word with Makima? Is she single or, or looking or what? Come with me. God, shut your stupid ass up! No, the fuck up out of here with that shit. What is your problem, man? Quit. You have no true purpose in being here, don't you? People who take on this job need to have strong convictions in order to succeed. And let me guess, you just want to fuck Makima, don't you? Bingo! And that's precisely why I beat your ass. <laughs> Another day. Another weak-minded individual. <laughs> nah, bro. This is crazy. One kick in the nuts is already enough. He's yes kicking him in the nuts. Look at how much pain my man is in, bro. But anyway, Denji said even though he is willingly attempting to be in a relationship where he is dominated both physically and emotionally, he does not care because that's what matters to him. It's his ninjo. His ninja way! Aki pieced him again, and then Denji hit another low blow and Aki was like, Damn, you really don't even try to fight. Just balls. Nothing else. All balls. But anyway, after that, they went to go file complaints to Makima, but she was like, nah, y'all are perfect for each other. So anyway, Aki took him back to his crib, and Denji was asking if Makima was really a good guy or not, and he was like, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, you're right. Well, I hope I can hug her again. Huh? Damn, this fool good as hell. I never knew this type of fool existed in the world, man. You know where you get this? What the fuck is this shit called, bro? Well! Shut the fuck up! Anyway, so they went to this crime scene, and Aki was like, Alright, kill this nigga with your powers. <laughs> that was not what I said to do. What is wrong with you? I said, become a demon and kill him. But Denji explained that he didn't really want to do that for whatever reason, and as soon as the job was over, he goes right back to lusting over Makima. Damn. 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 Boobs. So they got back. And apparently he was assigned a new partner. What's cracking, y'all? You already know who it is. No, we don't. And why do we have... Oh, never mind. We do know who it is. So now he's out with power. And she's going crazy. And she smells a demon and cooks his shit. But anyway, they start arguing in front of Makima about whose fault it was. And they caused the racket. And then they hit the vending machines later. And power starts talking about how she misses her cat. And this hornball is at it again. Talking about... Well, I don't truly understand being that torn up about a cat, but if it's about some breasts, I'm definitely going to war for it. If you save my cat, you can- That demon! How dare he take an innocent thing such as cats! I sure hope I don't have to go chainsaw for this fight. What are you talking about? I can turn into chainsaws. Yeah, ha ha, funny and joke. Anyway, what's the deal? Why do we have to go to this creepy-ass house? Oh yeah, that's right, I, uh, I forgot to tell you. You forgot to tell me what? So apparently Power set him up because the only way to get her cat back was to trade Denji to this French bulldog looking ass demon. But he didn't like the taste of Denji's blood, but she was still like, Alright, I met your requirements, now give me my cat back. Whatever, bitch, scam or get scammed. And he ate her cat, grabbed her, and ate her, and then flew off. But Denji followed him and transformed. Hmm, it's finally Friday. I can go home, relax, maybe I'll catch up on some- 
So these two are boxing, right? Like, like they're throwing haymakers. And this bat is going on talking about some villainous stuff. But Denji, on the other hand, is only caring about copping a field. Like, imagine getting beat up. And while you're trying your absolute hardest, the person you're fighting is like, Damn! I am horny! Like, I, I can tell by his reactions, Batman is completely thrown off by this, but he cooked them up. Why did you save me? I tried to kill you. You're disgusting, you know that? Anyway, some random demon showed up again, but when Denji tried to transform, he realized he had the Gatorade symbol by his name, so he had to get that shit out of the mud. Like, like, like I'm not gonna lie to y'all, he's so cold until you realize he's doing this because he's trying to lose his V-card. It, it even got to the point where the demon was like, Yo, you, you need to calm down, bro. I can't lie. Blah, blah, blah. I gotta hear that shit from every single person I meet. Every time I say what I want, I get kink shame. Well, you know what? I'm sick of it. And, and he started going off. I can't lie. And she came back and pieced him up and was getting ready to eat him. But anyway, now my man's was recovering. And it seems like he's become somewhat of a celebrity because everyone was talking about him and his actions afterwards. But Aki was still hating on him, saying he should have been executed for his actions and shit. What the fuck? But then he was like, Even though I don't really condone your fetish, if you follow my directions to the letter, I'll make sure you don't get any trouble. And he was not capping because Makima was trying to vote them out, but Aki vouched for them both. He may be a hater, but he's definitely solid. Hello there, testicle owners. I've come to stay with you. What the fuck, Makima? Why do I have to do this? Because they need proper structure in their lives to fully function. Plus, I don't want to do that shit. I hate vegetables. Oh, hey, don't throw your food. Yeah, what he said. I'm not going to flush the toilet. Flush the toilet power. I'm not going to bathe. Get in the fucking bath. Yeah, what he said. I can't believe you have to do this. You there. What are you doing now? I have to clean your mess. What about our deal? Uh, breasts. Nah, that fucked him up though, cause he was reevaluating his life goals and shit. And Makima was like, Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then he explained his situation. And then she fucking let him touch her ear and shit. And my man's was having a panic attack. And then she was like, If you kill the gun demon, I'll grant you any wish. Wait, even set. So now they're getting ready to take on the gun devil. And this girl right here says, Any one of the group who gets the reward can kiss her. And everybody was like, What does that even mean? But she's like, Nobody knows what it means. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Anyway, they're in the back rooms and they run into this random demon, but they cook his ass. And then they figure out that they are indeed in the back rooms. This girl right here was tripping because her parents told her she either needed to hunt demons or start an OnlyFans to support her brother's education. But then they realize they're trapped. So Aki keeps looking for the devil, but these two are tweaking, and Power was doing what I do in the shower, which is think about how to take over the world as quick as possible. But overall, everybody is pretty much over with the situation. But the demon they killed grew in size and was like, If you give me the human known as Dinji, I will allow you to leave with your lives. And Kobani was about to try and do it, but she got her system rebooted. So, what'll it be? Oh my god, can we just kill him already? Hey, I can hear you. You ate all the food? Yeah. I want to go home. So they triggered the Eternity Devil's powers, which was to like grow in size and shit, and now they're on the clock. So these two are trying to kill him, but Aki saves him, and now everyone is actually tweaking. So Denji was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. But I better get my kiss if I survive this. But. I don't think he fought this through because he gets cooked relatively quickly. But hey, he's really a dog though, because this man was in the trenches boxing for hours with this demon, bro. He was in there boxing for three days straight, bro, and he finally beat him. He got that werewolf in him. So now everybody is at the bar eating all the food, and Denji's getting ready for his kiss, but Makima shows up and she's like, Are you going to kiss her? Hell nah. Aren't you gonna kiss me? Hell yeah. What the fuck? He swallowed it! I'm not getting limited revenue, that nigga didn't get shit done. Anyway, Makima was on the train getting ready to go to a meeting, and she's just reminiscing on the time that she had with everyone last night. Are you dingy? Do you know something? Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? Yo, they are popping folks left and right, but for some reason, this is like the sword devil, right? So why did he have a gun? But anyway, yeah, he cooked everyone except Aki, and they start throwing hands and shit. But Aki cooks him, but this random girl shows up and gives him a reboot card, and then he cooks Aki shit. So then Himino had to use her final trump card. She was on her Hanji shit for real. And it doesn't really help that she also had the eye patch, but she was cooking for real though, no cap. Game time. 
But before she finally disappeared, she rebooted Denji and he was on timing. He was throwing them shits, man. They going crazy. The sword devil tried to jump him with his shooters, but Denji... Damn, never mind. But yeah, these guys was waiting on Makima and they found out the news that she died. But guess who stepped off the train? Makima. And she went to some area and hopped in her Itachi bag and started cooking everybody. And these two tried to run off, but Kobani shows up and runs them off. You know, I would I would question how these two are alive, but you know what? He can turn into a chainsaw, I will. So that's the least confusing thing about this show. Anyway, Aki's curse shortens his lifespan whenever he used it. So he had to ask how many years he had left. And well, he's got two. But that combined with the fact that he just lost his dog, he was going through it, man. But anyway, Denji and Power got summoned by Makima. Okay, so uh, this right here is Kishi. Shut the fuck up, Makima. Okay, I'm going to ask you two some questions. LeBron or Jordan? LeBron. LeBron. No. PlayStation or Xbox? The PlayStation. Station of playing. Ass or... Anyway, he was like, I like Henny, women, and killing demons. I'm your new teacher, so do what I say. Let's fight now. So he boxes them because he was like, I'm the number one pro devil hunter. And then he just beats their ass for an entire day. And then he was like, all right, I'm tired of beating y'all's ass. I'm going home. But anyway, Makima had these two pay Aki a visit and tell him it's time to become a family man and that if he continued to trot out on the field, he would look like 2015 Peyton Manning. But he don't give a fuck about none of that shit. He said, fuck it, I signed a 360. Let's do it. Anyway, look at these unserious individuals, man. They think just because they got on glasses, they're going to cook. But my man right here is weave gang certified, so he is not getting touched whatsoever. Get that shit out of here. Meanwhile, they took Aki to the Ninja Turtles crib to pick a 360 deal. And look at this dumbass walking style. He looks like one of those balloon things at the car washes or the car dealerships. I don't even know what them hoes is called. Anyway, he walks up on the future demon, sticks himself inside. Pause. Anyway, the demon was like, Hey, you're gonna have, like, the worst death possible. But for you, my friend, I can fuck with you. However, I am gonna need your right eye. Anyway, so Kishibe was like, Alright, y'all good for now. We got a mission. But if you fuck up this mission, I will beat the shit out of you. Then he met up with Makimo and was like, You've got some ulterior motive for doing all this, don't you? No. I can assure you that I am 100% doing this for the good of the public. Cap, but whatever. But the snake girl and the sword devil were back at it plotting on Denji. And while that was going on, these two were still in the car trying to get Aki to go into retirement. You know, because he's in his Celtic Shack era, but he was like, nah, fuck that, I'm still him. Now it's time for the final battle. Kishibe was given the rundown of all the people on his squad. The shark fiend, the violence fiend, and even the spider fiend. While they handled all the bots, Aki, Denji, and Power, and Kobani are splitting up and handling niggas. But Aki walks up on the girl that slept him and on. He was like, oh, you motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up. Hey, he was holding strong for a little bit, I can't lie, but he got choked out by the ghost that Himeno inhabited because uh, the snake girl took it after she killed Himeno, right? But it stopped fighting him, gave him a blunt, and then Kobani ran up from behind and yeah, she was cooked. Well, well, well. If it isn't- Wait, wait, wait. Alright, look. We're willing to turn ourselves in if you answer this question correctly. Look, Denji, you killed their friends and my grandpa. Why not just atone for the sins and let us sleep you? Nah, I'm good. Well then, I suppose there's only one thing to do, right? Yeah. Are you ready for me? Let's get negative! The Katana Devil thought he could chop through Denji, but he wasn't going for that shit. They started throwing them shits all over the rooftops. The Katana punted him like three blocks, and now they on the train with it. And he asked him, what was his motivation? And Denji was like, ass and breasts. Let's fight. Look at the ferocity and the impact of these hits, man. Then the Katana hit him from above and started blitzing his ass. Chopped off his arms and was like, oh, what do? It's over, nigga. Apologize. Never. I've still got my head. And I'm gonna use my head, so that I can get some head from Miss Makima- Didn't my grandpa teach you to know when to quit and die peacefully? Yeah, 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 yeah. You really are something. Didn't your grandpa ever teach you that there's four limbs on the body? You just got dingy, dipshit! <laughs> nah, this right here is diabolical, I can't lie to you. He put him back together just so he could beat his ass, and then stripped him to his drawers, and then Aki ran up on him and was like, Hey Aki, you wanna kick this guy in the balls repeatedly? I, I don't know, I don't think this is a good idea, Dingy, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. 
Wait, 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 guys, chill, chill, chill. Okay, I, I think this is a turning point in our relationship, and we can become friends. On some real shit, though, is this not like police brutality or abuse of power or something? They already have him cuffed. Look at this. They are enjoying the fuck out of this. But yeah, man, that's how the um season of Chainsaw Man ended. They got incarcerated, and Denji finally got some cash, changed his clothes for the first time. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what the deal is with him and Makima, but we'll find out soon enough, I hope. Follow me on the ground, nigga. Alright, peace.